Welcome to the CS Pro. So in this tutorial, you are going to learn that how to detect a star using DAO Star Finder in Hot Utils. So basically, uh, this process involves uh, three uh, parts. So first, uh, we will read Fritz image file. Then we will uh, do some algorithm and we will detect a star using DAO Star Finder. And then last step will be to plot a person around the detected a stars so let's do it okay so first of all we need to import some library so from astro file from astro file dot input output import fits for reading fits file so this will Use for reading fits file now okay so in our directory we have already a fits file called r dot fits okay so for that i will give file name so file equal to fits dot open and i will give my file name so it's r dot fits now our image is image is in primary hd okay so file equal to file zero and dot data so this i got image uh, data now i'll plot it okay so for plotting i will import mat plot lib dot by plot as plt and also i will import numpy so import numpy as np so this will use for plotting and this will like use for your array now you can see this is image of your 2d data data and now plot it so for that type plt dot image so and pass your emails turn it so you also need to like import a, a log a scale so for that here from matplotlib dot colors import log null log null and then pass here norm equal to norm equal to log norm and pass origin equal to 0 for starting your pixel from 0 0 so give it lower now run it so here you can see that here is your image it contains galaxy and stars and other objects so our job is to detect the stars in this uh, fits image and draw a picture around that. So let's do it. You can type here plt.so. Now okay, so step step one is done. Now step two. Okay. So step two, we have to detect a star using DAO a star finder. Okay, so for that, what we'll do, we'll do some sigma clipping. So for that, import from astropy dot stats import sigma clip stats so this is like used for clipping above certain values uh, data now what you do you type here um, say me you want to find the mean then median and then your standard deviation then type here sigma clip stats 
and pass your data and also pass your sigma equal to 3 3.0 so above above 3 sigma it will clip all the data now then you can also uh, print print say your mean your median and standard deviation let's run it so it is giving this value uh, for the for your uh, sig the three, above 3 sigma clipping now find your sources so for that you need to import your so from hot utils dot detection import import dow star finder okay now what you will do you will do here you will you will find a stars okay so find okay so you can give here dow find equal to dow star finder and pass your fwhm so fwhm is your full width half maximum and you can give as they say above three pixels i mean any object having fwhm three uh, above three pixels will count as a star and you can also give threshold i mean above which threshold it should it will detect the objects Threshold you can give due to pipe signal. Pipe into state D. Okay. Now this much we have done. So run it. Okay. So now uh so you want to find source. So find sources. So for that type which is equal to your data okay so your image minus or do like that dow find dow find your image minus median okay i mean subtract your uh, median value from like each pixel value so now we got a sources so if you print your sources then see what it will give so sources equal to run it so here you can see that you got a table length of around 176 rows and it is giving say x centroid y centroid sharpness roundness or um, or peak flux and magnitude so it is giving the those values and also the center centroid of the object so this will print the object now what we will do we will uh, we'll draw circular aperture around this uh, stars okay i mean the centroid of this uh, stars so for that go here and import from equal to we send equal to your uh, np dot transpose
then you can give your source centroid x centroid so you can give x centroid and similarly you can give your you can give your y centroid So if you print the positions, we can get into a column in column wise, okay? So transpose is used for your transferring from row to column. Now, now we want to plot aperture, okay? So plot aperture. So for that type. Apertures equal to circular aperture and give your positions, give your positions and pass say your radius equal to you can give say mm, 10. Now you want to plot it okay so for that type aperture aperture dot plot and pass your and you can give your say you want to give say color equal to you want to give red color and uh, you can give your line width you can give say 5 so this much we have done now we want to you want to show it on that image okay so you need to go here and copy paste here you can also type here plt dot figure and then put here and type plt dot figure to show now run it now run the whole code let's see what it is printing Okay, so now here you can see that here are the stars in the image and they are like uh, we have 176 stars from detection and you have all the stars have been marked in the red circle maybe you can make um, two so that for good visibility yeah so here you can see that your stars have been marked with a red color okay Maybe you can increase the circle uh, and make it 50. Yeah, so you can see that the stars are in the red circle. You can also he add here percentage math plot leaf dot widget. Mm. Yeah, so here you can see that here is the much uh, better version. So if you zoom it, then you can see that like this uh, circle contains a star image. Okay, this is the star. This is the star in that circle. So better uh, make circle here a smaller. Make it 10 only and then we can like go. Okay, so here is made much better. Just zoom it some portion and you will see. Okay, 
okay so here each circle contains a star within their center so this is a best way to detect a star using dawn star finder in four tutorials so i hope this is a uh, tutorial has been amazing and you have learned that how to detect a star in a fits file image using four tutorials so basically uh, we have done in three steps we have read fit fits file we have detected a star using dawn star finder and then we have Printed its all uh, centroid x and y, and then I have plotted a picture around the stars to show that where they lie on the image. Okay, so this is a very brief tutorial on that that how to detect the stars in fits image. So thank you.